What do you need? Is this a bad time? Every time's a bad time. There's too much work and not enough people to do it. But I'm the only person who cares about that. Wait, did Xenia send you? She said you'd have work for me. Well, thank Poseidon. Finally, someone competent to help. Ships are pushing into our territory and testing us. Xenia wants to send a message to make sure people understand who owns this little part of the Aegean. I'll sink the ships for you. What am I targeting? Destroy a few ships from Sparta, a few from Athens, and a few bandit ones too. That's a lot of ship sinking. Just make sure you're flying Xenia's colors when you do the sinking. I'll pay you well to ensure the message is understood. Sails need repair, three broken oars on the top level, two on the second level, cracked spar. <sighs> So 
Yes? I've sunk the ships. I knew I liked you. Xenia will be pleased that her waters are back under her control. Flattery is fine, but I'm here for the bounty. Of course.
the mighty not Spartan returns. Here, take your drachmi. Nothing feels better than a heavy purse filled with coin. The information I need. How long will it take? I already have it. You do? Your Merini now sails under the name of Finikas. She started as a member of my crew, but we parted ways not too long ago. I'm leaving soon. Chaos is your home. But this isn't my true calling. My purpose. You might never find what you're looking for, Finkas. So I can't bro. stop until I do. You are a great pirate. And you are an even greater friend. I like Don't forget. where she is now she sailed southeast with her crew in search of a greater calling she was part of your crew for a time why did she leave much too interested in the politics of war a waste of a good pirate if you ask me I haven't heard from her since she left This is a long way from Sparta. How did your paths cross? On the sea, long ago. In her, I saw a better life. In me, she found freedom. Together, we own the waves. I can't believe she was a pirate. She's the kind of woman who, once she sets her mind to something, gets it done. Thank you. I... Home isn't a place. It's the people you're with. If you don't find what you're looking for, there's a place for you here. Finicas. There have to be people who know that name. Move!
Greetings, Spartan. Need something? The eagle bearing Mystios. I thought you were a legend. You heard right, Spartan. I am a legend. I've heard stories about how you worked with the Spartans in Megaris and helped them to victory. I've also heard you have something to do with the wolf's disappearance. You can't believe everything you hear. Sadly, with the wolf gone, fear has spread through our ranks. There's actually a small group of conspirators claiming Nikolaus isn't dead, but a deserter. They're alleging no one's seen his body. <laughs> That's crazy. Everyone knows he's dead. That may be, but these men are convinced. They're deserting their posts and encouraging others to follow. They need to be stopped. You want me to kill the Spartan deserters for their dishonor? A few measly soldiers should be an easy mark for someone of your stature. I'll handle this. Thank the gods. I'll come back when I'm done. Up of my way! You're back. Have you killed them? I took care of them. Every last one. Sparta owes you a great debt. Take this. That'll do.
You just die. I think that's all of them. Anything you need help with today? Pirates are making the waters unsafe for travelers. You want me to destroy all the pirate ships? The horizon should be clear of ships once you're done. Find another, Mystios. Please, change your mind. They'll keep a sharp watch here. Focus. Corinth, a city of pots, prostitutes, and not much else. Alkibiati said the town here could help me find my mother. I should look around for Anthusa's whereabouts. Are you Anthusa? Me? Anthusa? I could be anyone for you, lamb. 
I charge less than the Ethera. But do I ever know my way around a hay bed? So her name means something to you? Anthusa? She's been around forever, but I never met her. I know the Etera all work as one, on equal footing, but Anthusa special. She talks, they listen. If the Etera aren't here, where are they? Their swords are too high and mighty to be down here in the dirt with us. You want them, you'll find them upon the hills, the Acrocorinth. By the temple, keeping Aphrodite's worshippers satisfied. I need to stay hidden. Come on, let's go. Come on. what I'm looking for. I should be extra careful in this area. This looks like the place. The great general was also a poet. People come here to worship Aphrodite, but the view is the real beauty. Who do they think they are? I need to stop them. Yeah! Oh! Yeah! 
This temple is dedicated to them, the brutes. If thieves are here and the Etera aren't. The Etera? <laughs> They're much wiser than we are. They realized their visitors were all getting robbed on the way in. There's no avoiding the mongers men in Corinth. I'll keep my guard up. He craves money, Mistyos. Not only that, but power. Once he smells it on you, you're a gunner. So the monger is a Corinthian criminal? Master of the underground markets. He rules with one hand open for money, and the other clenched around a weapon. A drachmi and blood-hungry monsters what he is. If you know of the Etera, then you know of Anthusa. I'm looking for her. They say she's... everywhere. Though I've never seen her. But the Etera see everything. I've seen them gather by the spring of Pireni, down the mountain. They meet clients there and then take them elsewhere in secret. Good. Maybe pray to Aphrodite from home next time. Nice view. It just got a lot nicer. I was hoping to see you again. Alcibiades, what are you doing outside of Athens? Someone like me is always on the move. I've docked my ship in every port. I'm sure you have. If you're here for more than the view, I have a task for you. It is crucial this package gets to its proper recipient. It's not for me, but a man named Theodoros. I'll help. But it's only that little box? One should never judge something by its size, you know. A small thing may very well make a huge impact. All right. Who am I giving the package to? There's a man named Vardas near the Corinthian military fort. He's one of their stronger... assets. And I just tell him it's from you. <sighs> no, uh, from the Odoros. Don't forget, the Odorus. Get it, Mistyos! You're yeah. not welcome! 
come here. So Cassandra has finally found us. You know me? And you know her. This is Anthusa. We saw you help the worshippers at the temple of Aphrodite. You've proven yourself a friend. Hear that, Icarus? Her sight's as good as yours. Someone also spoke very highly of you. Surprise! Phoebe! Aspasia sent me. I work for her now, remember? But why here? Corinth isn't safe. I had the talent to say you were coming. Aspasia taught me a new word, emissari. That's me. And now Cassandra and I have met. See? This is easy. And now I can help you. I guess that would be all right. Who knows what I'll get into. Yes! Just make sure you're extra careful. We need to move inside, Cassandra. We're not the only ones watching. Come with me. And we'll talk. Can I come? As long as you're quiet. To what do I owe your visit? Alkiviadis told me about you. <laughs> Did he? Go on. I'm looking for a woman from Sparta. A runaway. Long ago. She may have gone by the name of Mirini. Who's that? She's my mother. Your mother? You don't have a mother. Marcos told me he raised you. What did I tell you about talking? I see. There will be time to respond to your question, but that time isn't now. That's not the answer I'm looking for. It's the only one you'll get until I bargain the proper exchange. I've become quite the businesswoman, after all. You better be telling the truth. Cassandra can get really mad. Why don't you go play, Phoebe? Let me and Anthusa talk. If 
you say so. I propose a trade. Help me. Help us get stronger. Strong enough to rid Corinth of the monger permanently. A simple transaction, I assure you. You have a deal. A wise decision, dear Mystios. I haven't made it this far being a fool. I know when to take a chance. Then we're in business. Now, you've heard of the monger? From what the worshippers say, he's someone I should watch out for. They're right. I'm sure his victims wish they'd been more vigilant. My eyes are wide open. Then you've held your ground well. You're not dead. Not yet, anyway. But he's employed enough thugs to amass a small army. Now they're attacking people in the street, us included. He's been killing a Terra? Killing? We're smarter than that. But action must be taken before it goes that far. I'm not the only one who needs help. My girls, the Malis and Irina, are suffering too. More monger trouble? I wouldn't doubt it. Work against their aggressors, and then it will be his turn to suffer. You'll find the Malis here at the spring, but Irina has gone to Bellerophron's garden. I'll see what I can do for them. Good. The monger feeds his thugs. With a drachmi, he makes smuggling. Weapons, mostly, which is all the more lucrative now that he has a war to supply. So, if someone interrupts the monger's supply, his men go hungry. Exactly. Go to his warehouse in the port of Lecheo and burn his cargo, all of it. We'll let Chaos take care of the rest. Then the warehouse will be Cinder's. So you're here to help us, Mystios? You don't look like a monger spy. I'm more the in-your-face type. You have a monger problem, Damalis? I might. One of my regulars has changed. He was a decent man once, but now he's gone bad. Corinth seems to have a shortage of decent people. I need someone with muscle to figure out what's behind the change. Why he's different. Who was he before all this? Obsessive, but never threatening. He didn't stand out in symposiums until he had his Drachmi act for him. Well, something sure giving him courage now. He's gotten you scared. He asks me questions I don't know the answers to about our Drachmi. Where we keep money, what Anthusa invests in. As though we're Athenian aristocrats. Can't Anthusa intervene? I'm not naive. I won't expose the others to this. So we can go after them next? He might, anyway. Sounds like he needs answers. I'll see what he has to say for himself. If he's not lurking around here, he'll be at his house. I want this to end today. It will. People tend to show their true selves to my spear, whether they like it or not.
behind me. Shh. What are you doing here? I heard the Mali's talking about her crazy client earlier, and I wanted to help. Fine. But you have to do as I say. No games. I know that already, because you never let me have any fun. I'm going to talk to Damalis' client and see what he has to say. I've been here, spying, and I heard him mumbling to himself. He's weird. But maybe if I tell you what he said, it could help? Let's hear it. Let me think. Um, he said something about having to meet someone at Faye's pig farm tonight. That could help. It could. Did he mention why? To get something from them. A deed to some land, I think he said. Well, that's something. What else? Oh, he said their name. Vinomenes. Wonder who that is. Good to know. Thank you, Phoebe the spy. Not bad, huh? Time to act. Listen closely. You sneak inside and see what you can find in his house while I distract him. Quiet like a mouse. Good, but if you get caught, run. Right out the door. We'll meet afterwards. Promise? I'm ready. Let's go. <clears throat> Do I know you? No, but I know you. If Miron sent you, tell him I was going to pay him back this very night. No one sent me. We need to talk. I know you're up to something. Something? Something could be anything. You have nothing on me. You're going to Fair's pig farm. And meeting some like-minded person there, I hear. Where did you hear that? You're wrong. Dead wrong. They have a secret letter to give you. And that's where you're wrong. You have nothing on me. Nothing? But... Wait! <gasps> Thief! Thieves! Get out! Guards! Get them! Go! I'll send you to your death! Boethian! Athena! <laughs> Get them! <laughs> <laughs> Marlies doesn't have to worry about her client now. That wasn't what she wanted you to do. I dealt with him, didn't I? Well, at least I could sneak in, okay? Look. What does the letter say? It's mean. It says he'll get hurt if he keeps doing things wrong. I thought as much. And it says more. That he needs to bring the Malis to a place here in Corinth. There's directions. What do you think it is? Don't know. But I'll find out. Right behind you. Not this time. Go to the Malis and wait for me there. Oh, please. You've done enough for today. It could be dangerous. I'll come find you after. Place to bring the Malis. A prison? I should find out. I should try to stay out of sight. You shouldn't be here. This must be the place described in the letter. Anybody home? Come on! I've got him! 
hidden if I don't want to fight. Sounds human. Three of 
on four.
Just run from the price on your head! <laughs>
I can make this quickly. <laughs> Stay hidden. It's blood. Lots of it. A lock of hair. It smells familiar somehow. Malaka. What is this? Chains? Oil? This can't be what I think it is. Gotcha! All right, you little shit. Who sent you? What are you doing here? I wanted to help. Give her here. Leave, Phoebe. Now! Don't take another step. You're brave coming here. You want a whipping? The monger would love to take you on. He'd rot in the underworld for that. Prude, this is Corinthia. Anything goes in this sex, Andron, and the monger will be satiated. You're as sick as he is, worm. Whether they like it or not, any victim he likes gets his special treatment. I'll tell him you volunteer. You'll get my special treatment right now. I'll fucking kill you. You breathe your last breath.
Cassandra, your little friend beat you back. You made it. And fast. I know all the shortcuts now. I'm sorry, Cassandra. It's all right. You had good intentions. I thought I could sneak in, like before. I'm glad you didn't. Especially with what I found there. What happened to you? I just left the monger sex, Andron, if you can believe it. And it's where you were headed. No. It's true. Your client was being forced to take you there. And we found these. What does this mean? It means the monger got to him. He does have his hand in everything. At least I know how to deal with him now that I know what he's after. You won't have to. I took care of him myself. I told Cassandra she shouldn't have. <sighs> it had to come to this. Malaka, what a fool he was. The monger's the real fool. He'll find that out soon enough. By Aphrodite. Cleo better get back here soon. I call on the gods when you have one of their messengers at your service. How did you know I needed help? Anthusa told me you could use a hand. Cleo, one of our girls, didn't meet me for prayer this morning. She wasn't at home either. I'd go investigate, but I'm not sure what I could do on my own. She might have been taken. I asked around. One of our clients said he saw Cleo brought aboard the ship. The men were armed, so there was nothing he could do. I'd pay a lot of drachmi to get her back. Armed? Take me to the ship. We'll get Cleo back. Follow me. Who do you think took her? It wouldn't be the first time the Monger's men came after one of us. a bad reputation, but it wasn't always that way. We used to be safe. Until the monger. We're not sure why he came here, but Corinth is worse off because of him.
Watch the boat our client described. Please, get her back soon. <laughs> My boat, pirate. Don't make me take that knife by force. I was sent here by a friend. Lies. 
Your friend Erina hired me to save you from these men and bring you back. Erina? I commissioned that ship to steal me away from Corinth. You're escaping? From what? You have no idea what the monger does to people. The things I've seen, no one in Corinth is safe. The Greek world is being ravaged by war. You're no safer on these seas than you are in Corinth. Mistios, please. We were heading to Mykonos, which is safe. If you'll take me there, I can pay you the toll I would have paid my crew. All right, I'll get you there. Next time my crew docks at Mykonos, you can depart. In the meantime, welcome aboard. Thank you, Mistios. This is what's best, I promise. Can't go any faster! 
Your friend didn't need rescuing. She hired that ship to get out of Corinth and go somewhere safe. So, she's really gone? She's not coming back. No. Thank you. I'll let Anthusa know. Guess I'll be alone at prayer tomorrow. You promise she's safe? You have my word.
I'm here to collect that bounty. <laughs> Go now. Insignificant peon. Tell me where he is, or by era I'll burn this clinic to the ground with you in it. I already told you what I know. I don't ask much. Hippocrates must show humility to ensure public order. Prostrate himself before the gods and declare that his skills are gods given. But that won't help his patience. It'll just take him away from his work. If Hippocrates thinks he can disrupt social order to make himself into a demigod of healing, well, perhaps the gods themselves will have their revenge. I'm sure there's no need for raised voices. Who are you? I'm looking for a man named Hippocrates. Yet another crazed follower of the madman himself. Tell your impious master that unless he makes a public apology and soon, this priestess of Ira will gather an army of faithful and shut him down. Out of my way. Oh, thank all the gods she's gone. I thought she was going to kill me this time. What's going on? I am Sostratos. Crisis has accused my master Hippocrates of impiety. Is he impious? He believes that beyond praying, people can take their health into their own hands and make themselves well. Fascinating. Can I speak with him? I'm sorry, he isn't here. I'll find him. If you're going to meet Hippocrates, could I trouble you with a small errand? Depends what it is. I want you to bring him some equipment. He was in such a hurry, he left it behind. 
I could bring that to Hippocrates. Really? My services don't come free. Here, take this. Though perhaps Hippocrates can teach you something about helping those in need when you speak with him. How will I know who I'm looking for? Head southeast of Hera's watch, near the Cave of Pan. He'll be standing before a long line of sick people. You'll know him by his, um, bald spot, though I wouldn't mention it. So many sick people. Can one man help all of them? I thought they were exaggerated when they said people from all around came to see. So, what has caused this man's condition? An excess of phlegm, Doctor. In the immediate sense, yes. But more importantly, he suffers from neglect. Neglect? Good food, warm clothing, so much could have helped. But since other caretakers assumed his condition was a punishment from the gods, they neglected him. Challenging tradition. You must be Hippocrates. Yes, I'm also very busy. This will only take a moment. I won't keep you away from your patients and your students. Observation, experience, and experimentation are crucial for treatment. My followers are learning that. I've come from your clinic in Argos. Sostratos asked me to give you this. I knew I forgot some things. Sostratos is a good physician, but a better apprentice there is none. Did you ask him to pay you for this delivery? Of course I did. I'm a Mystios. Ungenerous, but honest at least. What can I call you, Mystios? Cassandra of Sparta. What did you come here for, Cassandra of Sparta? Hippocrates, I need your help. I was told you may have helped my mother. I'm trying to find her. But we see all kinds of mothers. They walk all day so that Hippocrates can see their children. Maybe the priests at the sanctuary of Asclepios can help. They keep detailed records of all who pass through. Please, Hippocrates, I came very far to meet you. As did this patient, and the one before him, and the one before her. My patients need me, but my notes on diseases of the mind were taken. Retrieve them, and I will help you find what you seek. Hurry, this patient doesn't have much time left. I'll do my best with what you've told me. Good luck. We're depending on you.
Lucy's notes are well guarded. Why? The mighty Tyrants. Built by the Cyclopses. Or so the legend goes.
Mighty Tyrians, built by the Cyclopses, or so the legend goes. What are you doing here? Hippocrates sent me. Your commander stole his notes, and I think you have them. The ones written by the great Hippocrates himself? I'm sorry. They were burned in the last attack. What? You heard me. The medical tent was burned. At least I memorized the notes before we lost them. Now transcribe them when I have time, or when the war subsides. Then you'll have to come with me. A patient Hippocrates is treating will die without your help. I have a patient right here who needs my help. Can't someone else take care of this one? I'm the only doctor here. Now let me work. I'll wait here for you to finish. If I leave, what's stopping you from running away? Thinking like a mercenary. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Then make yourself useful and bring me my bone forceps. Some idiot or another's always borrowing them. Then you'll come treat Hippocrates' patient? You have my word. I'll go get your bone forceps. over there.
Recep should be in there. Once I deliver these, we can get back to Pokrat. <laughs> These are the forceps he wanted. Is this it? You want a half bad assistant? When I'm done with the surgery, I'll be honored to help Hippocrates. Might be limping for a while, but Apollo willing, they'll make a full recovery. I'll meet you there. Don't be late.
Socrates, how's your patient? You were gone so long, he didn't survive. I'm sorry, Hippocrates. We took more time because this Misios helped me save my own patient. Sometimes science requires tough decisions. If we're finished here, I'll take some time and write down what I remember of your notes, Hippocrates. I'll go see the priests for more information about my mother. Come with me. You've had a busy day. The importance of diet to maintaining one's health cannot be overstated. What good can one apple really do? <laughs> well, taken daily, they can keep the doctor away. But to more serious matters, I know why you're here. You're looking for your mother. You remember her? I was young then. I didn't know how to help. I turned her away. But her look of determination and despair was born into my mind. It has never left me, and it never will. After, I swore to Apollo that I wouldn't turn away another patient. That I'd dedicate my life to the cause. She made an impression on me. Your brave mother did. She would be happy to know that. I sent your mother to the sanctuary of Asclepios. Tell the elder priest a treatment for the sacred disease will soon be available to any patient who needs it. Then he may talk to you. Thank you for everything, Hippocrates. I'll go see him now. Talk to him. The sanctuary of Asclepios. Go. There he is. Come on. If you're here for your purification bath, you'll have to come back another time. I'm here for information. In that case, you can go straight to Hades. 
I need to know about a Spartan woman who came through here many years ago. Did that eagle of yours shit in your ears? I'm under strict orders not to talk to any mercenaries. Especially not about Spartan women or injured babies. I never mentioned the baby. Think you're so smart? Many women pass through with babies. Now leave me. I have my own problems to deal with. Maybe I can help you. Snakes! Snakes. They're everywhere. Must have escaped from the Tholos. We keep them for treatments, but they invaded the bathhouse. The snakes killed someone? A patient was purifying himself when they slithered in. Turns out he's terrified of snakes. Fell over dead. Now the snakes have made him their home. What if I took care of your snake problem? Would you talk to me then? Oh, most definitely. The purification bath is crucial in the path towards healing. I'll take care of your snake problem. Then, you'll tell me what I need to know. bathhouse free of snakes I carved up every single one of those slimy mal like it my babies what have you done to my babies your snakes infested my bathhouse a sick man is dead because of them you you did this good snakes are dead snakes you'll pay for this I curse you well well, what? I took care of the snakes. Now you're going to tell me about the Spartan woman and the baby. <laughs> I actually don't know anything. It was before my time. The man who does know is Mithun, but he won't tell you. He won't tell anyone anything. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, snakes. At least I got a name. Miva. Greetings, young one. Come to offer Asclepios a sacrifice? No. But I'm searching for a Spartan mother, who may have. The great goddess Ira guides many mothers to the sacred place. Surely I'm too feeble to remember them all. What are these stone slabs for? These are uh, records. We document all who pass through, uh, their illnesses, treatments, so that the glory of Asclepios can be celebrated. Then I don't need your memory. I just need to find the right stone. Um, yes, of course. That's very wise indeed. If only I had the time to help you. My mother came through here. And unless you want me to paint these stones with your blood, you'll tell me what you know. Please, it's Chrysis. She said that anyone stronger. who talks to the eagle bearer will be paying a visit to Hades. Then don't talk. Just bring me to the stone that can. Follow me then. Quickly. We must be discreet. 
Lead the way. This way. Over here. If anyone is watching, they'll have my head. What kind of sanctuary isn't safe for its priests? Times have changed, Eagle Bearer. Ah, I remember this tale. Written during the time of the great Elod revolt. You would have been only a child. I don't need the history, just the details. It tells the tale of a woman with worms in her throat. Asclepios took off her head so we could remove them, then reattached it in her sleep. Definitely not the right one. I wonder what Hippocrates would think of these... treatments. It's over this way, Mr. Hippocrates is a fine healer. Showed so much promise. Showed? He's healing the sick right now. He puts too much faith in his hands, and not enough in the gods. When it comes to life and death, I prefer hands. Are all the testimonies so outrageous? Writers today, Thukivivis, Evripivis, the petulant Aristophanes, all of them try for realism. But what really inspires is greatness, magic, gods. This one tells the tale of a man with sword wounds. A pack of dogs licked him clean, and Eureka, a man's best friend indeed. This is hopeless. These stories give people hope, Eagle Bearer. Well, I'm losing mine. Tell me about Chrysis. A very powerful, dangerous woman. But it was not always so. She was abandoned here as a child and taken in by the priests taught the ways of the gods. She learned uh, very quickly, was very strong-willed, and uh, before too long, it was the priests who listened to her. She was loved, but there's an anger in her heart. And what about this one? Let me guess. It tells the tale of a blind woman who had her eyes licked by snakes. It reads, of Sparta, came here with child sought pity from the gods. Why is most of it scratched out? Oh, uh, I'm... I'll just tell you. I know this one by heart. The Spartan woman arrived filthy and bleeding from her travels. We cared for her, gave her food, a bath, and she left. Where she went, I do not know. The child could not be saved. Who does know where she went? We've been spotted. Meet me later, near the olive tree of Heracles, at the entrance of the sanctuary. I may have something for you. And what do we have here? A priest and a mercenary out for a friendly stroll? May the gods be with you, Plistos. I was just on my way to the archives when this Mystheus bumped into me. Is that so? And what were you both chatting about so fervently, might I ask? I'm filthy and could use a good bath. The kind priest here was pointing me in the direction of the bathhouse. Um, yes, that's correct. The bathhouse is right over there. Now, if you'll excuse me. The baths are for healing the sick, not for washing the blood off one's hands. Leave. by the tree.
Sophia Veracruz. I'm not sure if it's not more for its legend. I thank you for your discretion, Eagle Bearer. Chrysis has many eyes and ears throughout the sanctuary. What else can you tell me about the Spartan woman and child? The woman left the child's blanket behind. We tried to return it, but it was too painful a memory for her. Where did she go? What happened to the child? So, Chrysis was right. You knew the rules, Timoxenos. You will suffer her wrath. Please, Tos. Please. Get behind me, priest. I'll deal with these two. Got you! Asclepios be praised. May the sick find peace. Asclepios be praised.
Off we go now. He's over there. Spare her from suffering. Will she live? Not unless the gods heed our prayers. Many sick Athenians have arrived in Argolis recently, and very few have left. This poor girl has the same sickness. Is there anything I can do to help? I was warned of the eagle bearer. Wants nothing but drachmi for blood. I was told. We're wasting time, priest. We can discuss what I want when this sick girl's needs are taken care of. Her illness seems to have no cure, and it's spreading. Our sacrifices have done little to draw the attention of the gods. Pigs, goats, all have fallen on deaf ears. We need a beast whose blood will ignite these flames for Asclepios to see. What did you have in mind? There is a rumor of a bull with skin as white as snow roaming the sanctuary outskirts. Head west of here. Towards the coast. Bring it to me alive, and we'll offer a sacrifice the gods cannot ignore. I'm touched you will help these people. But I know why you're really here. Chrysis made all priests swear oaths to seal our lips in the face of the eagle bearing Mystios, or forfeit our lives. But I serve the gods and the sick. My oaths are to them. I'll find this bull for you. Am I too late? Died willingly. I'll take his heart for the sacrifice. It'll have to do. Oh, not the best feeling. I hope this heart is enough. If they want the whole bone, they can come get it themselves.
go now. Let's go. The bounty on your head is... Did you find the white bull? I couldn't bring it back alive. But I did manage to collect its heart. This won't be enough to please Asclepios. The beast died unwillingly, and with just the heart, we'll only be able to pray for one life. Please, Mythios. The white bull you killed was mine. My farm feeds half of Arulis. If I die, people will starve. I beg you! My husband was killed by the sickness. I have two small children. Who will take care of them if I die? I am wealthy and will pay you for this blessing. <coughs> it's okay. Give the sacrifice to them. You did this. You choose whose prayers get heard by the gods. I know what it's like to be small and forsaken. Pray for the girl. You regret this! <laughs> Not an easy choice, Mistios, but it's been made. The rest is in the hands of the gods. I did my part, priest. The Spartan woman you're after. You've met her? Her visit to the sanctuary is legendary, but sadly, it was before my time. The man you want is Midon, the elder priest. He spoke of her often, that is, before he cut out his tongue. Cut out his tongue? When he's not healing the sick, he's in the guest house. Spends a lot of time being tended to by the servants. Thank you. I won't forget you helped me. And these people won't forget you helped them.
They're dead. And you must be Midon. He doesn't speak. So I've heard. I'm here to find out why. Chrysis did this to him. Uh -huh. I thought he did this to himself. To prove his loyalty to her. Now, why would Chrysis want an elder priest to cut out his tongue? Midon is a caring, generous man. I want answers from him. Not you. Tell me about the Spartan woman and her baby. He can only answer yes or no. They said she had a baby with her. Was it hers? 
The baby was close to death when they arrived. Neither prayed for its life. The Spartan woman, was her name Mirini? You saved the child. No. He did everything he could, but the baby was badly wounded. Did she tell you where she was going? Do all sanctuary priests take their servants to bed? I am not his servant. We share a sacred bond. A sacred? Right. I know why Chrysis made you cut out your tongue. The night my mother brought my brother here, you and your priests left him for dead. And Chrysis didn't like you telling the story. That's not what happened! What do you know? You're too young to have been there. He told me the story many times before that witch stole his voice. He tried to save the baby, did everything he could. I don't believe you. Dead. How can my baby be dead? I don't know what to tell you. You were lucky he survived as long as he did. That, that fall was devastating. <laughs> my baby! My baby! <laughs> Listen, there's nothing we can do for you anymore. You'd best be on your way. Ray is here. Right? <laughs> They're gone. They're both gone. He wept for that Spartan woman so far from home. Her baby barely recognizable, hardly breathing. Tell me, please. I need to know. Not even Apollo could save the child. Nathan told me how the Spartan woman wept, held the baby in her arms, sang to him, before finally leaving him to the gods. Chrysis took the baby, didn't she? And she made you cut out your tongue to hide the truth. Where is Chrysis? There is an altar where people offer their sick babies to be healed. This is where she took the child. Find it near the statue of Apollo Maleatas, and you'll find Chrysis. People come to this sanctuary to heal. But I come here and find people dying without hope, priests without tongues, and babies left with an insane woman. <laughs> My mother was a fool to trust any of you. I'm going to find Chrysis, and she's going to pay for what she's done. Hush, my child. May Ira bless our sacred family. This is the key to finding my mother. I must find this altar of Apollo Maleatas. There's the statue of Apollo, and the altar. A warning. 
Must be getting close. die here. seems to run in your bloodline, almighty oh eagle bearer. Don't you dare speak of my family, snake. I still remember the night your mother brought me my child. The sad, pathetic thing, crying in the rain. Had I known then that Mirini had two children. But here you are. My family is complete. You let my mother believe her baby was dead. But he was. Oh, how she wept when his little heart stopped beating. But then I took care of him, placed him on this very altar, screamed for the gods to spare his life, and they listened. What did you do with my brother? I saved his life by teaching him to suffer, to know pain so well that he would learn to welcome it like an old friend. And now he will teach all of the Greek world to know that pain. You tortured him? He was just a baby! I taught him to survive. This world is cruel. It demands strength or death. So I gave him strength. Where did my mother go that night? That weakling crawled to the hills of Corinth. The monger was supposed to deliver her back to me, but she can't hide forever. She will give us more children. I'll run my spear through your throat for the pain you've caused. <laughs> this world is pain. I gave Themo strength to cope. 
Your mother was a weakling who whined to the gods like a pig on an altar. I am more a mother to her child than she will ever be. I can be a mother to you too, Eagle Bearer. This goes beyond my family. You and your cult are going to destroy the Greek world. You bring nothing but suffering. You talk of suffering, and yet you come drenched in blood and threaten my life. You are a killer, just like your brother. Here, let me show you. My child! This baby is yours? He was dying. Chrysis had me bring a gift to Ira so that he might be protected. Chrysis lit the temple on fire with the boy and me inside. Chrysis is a servant of Ira. She does what needs to be done. What needs to be done? She left your baby to burn alive. And you saved him. Gods bless you, Eagle Bearer. Sleep now, sweet child. Mater is here. I'm not sure saving that baby was the right thing to do. Chrysis's reign of terror must end. If what Chrysis said was true, Mirini believes my brother died long ago. I can't let Chrysis walk free. I'll kill that Malaka. Such lethal power.
ask any questions. Let's keep out of sight. This is the place. Time to burn some cargo. like a Spartan. There's resolve in you. We have that in common. I saw innocents trapped in the flames. The ones in the warehouse. I freed them already. A good soldier acts when he's told. A great one is two steps ahead. Thank you. My name's Cassandra. I'd thank you too, if I knew who you were. Brazidas of Sparta. You're a newcomer to Corinth. You're a spy too? An old Spartan tactic? I have my ways. I get the sense that's a Corinthian hobby. Anthusa has her Etera watching from every post. Ah, Anthusa. We disagree, but have a common enemy. The monger? We agree he should be killed, but we differ on how. What do you want to do with him? Right now, the monger rules Corinth. I want to replace him with minimal bloodshed. He'll only be dethroned if he's killed. It's simple. Yes. Diplomacy isn't something he understands. From what I hear, I'm not surprised. 
We arrested his top men, armed the citizens, tried to stir the police against him. It never came to be. The only thing left to try is a quick slice of the blade. That would do it. We'd lure him into Corinthia's sacred cave, and it'd be over. By the time I leave, Corinthia, the monger will be dead. Do that, and Sparta will be in your debt. I was Spartan, once. Once? Until I was thrown off Mount Taietos as a child, and left for dead. You're the daughter of General Nikolaos? All of Sparta knows your name! And here you are, alive! Impossible! I survived. I raised myself alone while life continued in Sparta. Never mind being a Spartan. Those of good character will forgive and should be forgiven. I'm on the hunt for my mother, Mirini. And the only way is through Anthusa. Yes, Merini. You don't know anything about Merini, do you? I know that no one should have to endure such tragedy alone. And I heard she left Sparta that night. No one has forgotten Merini. From what I know, she wanted them to forget. You knew Nikolaos? A good general, but a stubborn Spartan. And rewarded for his loyalty. But he disappeared, and his body was never found. The state pronounced him dead. That's all right. I haven't seen him since I was a child. There's no going back now. The displaced can always find their way home. The gods have just decided you must fight for it. They couldn't make it any easier. Chin up, Spartan. Easy doesn't exist. Goodbye, Brasidas. We'll meet again. I'm in the fight with you. Show courage. Your plan seemed to work. The mongers' thugs ambushed me. I heard. I also heard you had no problems dealing with them. It wasn't my first fight in Corinth. Or your last. We're going to take the monger to task at the theater. I've arranged a Corinthian drama no one will forget. Brasidas is worried about the anarchy that could follow the monger's death. He wants him dead, but wants it done quietly. That man is a long way from Sparta. This is Corinthia, so we'll do it the Corinthian way.
I agree with Vrasidas. I say we take him to the sacred cave. This isn't what we planned. The monger needs to be erased from existence. We'll fight him in a private place, and he'll die. A simple transaction, remember? If you insist, we'll meet you at the sacred cave. Clear the way! Is there something you need? Ask for anything you need. So it is you, a demigod in the soot and shit streets of Torinth, killing my men, helping those fucking parasites? That's me. Ah, arrogant! Just like your mother!
You'll never rule these streets, you pig! Oh, you bet your pretty face I will! Get your filthy hands! And when I do, I'll rip your fucking head right off! And send it to the cult as proof! What? You knew? Oh, I fucking knew her all right. She was big fucking trouble. But I'll pay her back. When I'm done with you, I'm gonna find your mother and bring her your fucking head. Demos will wish she was watching this. Not if I bring her yours first. Get the fuck out of my city. It's not yours anymore. Get the fuck off my streets. I wish I could have been there to watch Demos break your neck. Don't make me laugh. Wait! No! The people of Corinth must see him die! Anthusa? Take him out of here and bring him to the theater! Show everyone his cowardice! No. You wanted him dead. Here he is. It's a shame that people don't get to see him bleed. 
His cries should have rung out across the city. He's dead. I've delivered. Your turn. Huh. Yes. You're right. He's dead. Take his body to the square. Let the people get a last good look at him. As for you, Cassandra, I owe you information. We'll talk about your mother, just not here. I can't give you enough thanks for what you've done. <laughs> and for once, I can also thank Alcibiades. He sent you here, after all. There's more to him than meets the eye. He knew you could save Corin from that beast. Everybody benefits, everybody wins. You've proven to be a very valuable business partner. Speaking of business, you owe me, Anthusa. Yes, Mirini. She came and left Corinthia in a flurry, but made an impression on me. Like a great storm. I remember that part of her well. A strong woman with great intensity. She wanted to find her place here in Corinth, but never found what she was looking for. You speak of her kindly. You were her friend. Perhaps on the surface, but she had a great pain in the middle of her that no one could get to. After Corinth, where did she go? That? I don't know. She must have given you some hint. I don't think even she knew where she was headed. All I know is she won a ship thanks to a lucky dice throw. Tihi owed her that much, at least. I remember the ship's name well. Siren Song. Siren Song? It was famous for weathering all that Poseidon threw in its path. Thank you, Anthusa. May the gods look well upon you, Cassandra. Visit me any time. I'll catch you up on Corinth's affairs. It seems I have an interesting future ahead of me. So do I. Cyrus. If I can find someone who knows the ship, I'll be one step closer to finding her. I should have enough information now. I should head back to Athens to see Aspasia.